Today we're gonna turn this into this. We make these five pumpkin desserts every single year and they still don't get old. First recipe has the longest name ever, caramel pecan turtle pumpkin pie. Nice. Basically all of our favorite things in one delicious pie and it's no bake. We're gonna start with just, we've got a graham cracker crust. You can make your own from scratch or buy it from the store for quick and easy. And then we just have some caramel syrup like that you put on top of ice cream. We're gonna drizzle some in the bottom of the pie crust. And then we're gonna add some pecans. Okay, next we're gonna make the filling. So we have two packages of our instant vanilla pudding. We're just gonna dump it into the bottom of a bowl. Now, you kinda want a larger bowl. I made the mistake this <laughs> once. I had a small one and it was a disaster. Overflowing. Yeah. So two, two in okay. there, and then just one, one cup, cup of milk. milk. We can just throw in. So ignore the instructions that are on the pudding mix. Right. We're doing our own filling. We are. So I'm gonna add in some seasonings. So we have cinnamon, we have nutmeg. Throw that right on, which cinnamon and nutmeg, that's like the perfect fall scent. I agree. And then we are going to do one cup of pure pumpkin puree. Now you don't want pie filling, pumpkin pie filling. You can buy that at Thanksgiving at the store. You can. Yeah. Make sure this is just the puree. Just I actually bought some for this recipe and then when it came, I'm like, dang it, I bought the wrong kind. <laughs> and we're not gonna use the full can, we're just gonna do about a cup. A cup. Mm -hmm. The next thing that we're gonna add is the Cool Whip. So we're not gonna do the full container, we're just gonna do about half, which is about a cup and a half of Cool Whip. And I'm gonna just fold this in first and then I will whip then it. Then whisk it. Yes. Yep. Now if you want to, you can use an electric beater yep. or mixer to mix this all together, but we didn't want you to have to listen to that sound. So no. Kristen's getting her cardio on. <laughs> so now we're just gonna dump the pie filling right in. Nice. And spread it on top of that caramel and pecan layer. How do you feel about okay, this? Okay, good. So Me your too. next step is to put this in the fridge and let it set up for one hour. Okay, so after one hour, the filling has set up enough that you can put some more Cool Whip on top. Nice. Grandma used to do whipped cream Homemade from scratch. Cream. Do you remember that? Oh, I remember. If you want to, you can leave the pumpkin layer kind of peeking out nice. on the edges. Okay, now it's time for the caramel More part. caramel. More caramel, because of course we don't have enough on the bottom. Nope. And then once you get the caramel on, you can top it with some more chopped pecans, okay. or whatever nut you choose to use, or if you're going nutless, just leave it yeah, like, like that. that. But I'm all about pecans. Me too, they're my favorite. Yep. All and right, shall we, we dig shall. in? This is how we work with <laughs> you desserts. You have to get crust, you have to get all the layers. All my favorite foods. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like Thanksgiving. Uh, how, what's your rating system? Oh, five stars? Six out of five. I was gonna say, easily an eight out of five. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, done with this one. Let's move on to the next. Next recipe is our pumpkin sheet cake. Now, I love making this when I have to feed a crowd because yeah. it is so fast, so easy. You just have to cook it once. So, <laughs> I'm a fan. First, we're gonna add eggs. Four, Four eggs, eggs to this recipe. Then, this is a large can of pumpkin because that's all they had left in the store. <laughs> so you just need 15 ounces. So we're just gonna use half of this. We've got one cup of vegetable oil nice. going in. As I am mixing this, I am realizing my bowl is not a big enough. Bigger bowl. Yes. Now you know, learn from our mistakes. <laughs> bigger bowl. You're gonna need a big bowl. You will. We have cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice. Nice. We have some baking powder, baking soda, and some salt in here. Two cups of flour too. Okay. While you are mixing, I'm gonna take our cookie sheet pan and spray it with nonstick cooking spray, also known as Pam. Okay, we're gonna bake it 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. We're gonna check on it, make sure it's doing okay. While the cake is in the oven, we're gonna make the frosting. <laughs> so we have one cup of softened butter right now. We just kind of left, left it, it out for a while. Yeah. Yep. And then we have eight ounces of cream cheese. Again, we just let that sit out for a while. It's pretty soft. Yep. Okay, while you're kind of mushing down, we're just gonna add two teaspoons. Okay. Okay, now we now have three cups of powdered sugar. Cake is out of the oven, it's cooled. You don't want to do this when it's hot. Yeah, you want to so let that cool down. Cool it just a little bit. And then, time for the frosting. Time for the frosting. This is my favorite part of the day. 
Hey. Right out of the pan, because it makes it taste better, right? Right? Right. That's what you can do when you're an adult. You can eat cake out of the pan. <laughs> no one's gonna stop you. Oh, that's good. It's so good. Okay, our next recipe is our four ingredient pumpkin dip. Now, if you have a party for Halloween, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, this is the perfect dish to bring. Yes. It's a dessert, it's an appetizer, and it's, it's so easy. It's, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with pumpkin pie, or pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. You only need 15 ounces, so this is a huge can. This is 29 ounces, yeah. we're just gonna use half. The next thing we're gonna add is just a box of instant Vanilla pudding. Yes. This is the big box, so I think it's five ounces. It yeah, is, five point one ounces, or you could use like two small boxes. Now I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna add I'm our gonna seasonings do. next, which is just half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Nice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you can actually find recipes online to make your own. Right. So it's just yes. like cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, yeah. all the fall scents. It's also hard to find right now too. So oh, if you go to the store, everything. get some, get some quick, cause it's going. And the last ingredient is Cool Whip. The big container. <laughs> We're going big. Let's hey, see. If I we have can. to admit something here. What? I opened it yesterday <gasps> and I took a big. Kristen <laughs> loves Cool Whip. She would almost rather eat Cool Whip than ice cream. It's true. I don't really like, like ice cream, but even when we were little, I love a good Cool Whip. Here, I'll help you. Who doesn't love ice cream? <laughs> but who loves Cool Whip? We're gonna mm -hmm. fold it in yeah. and then we'll try fold and whip it. Fold it gently. Yes. And you can use an electric mixer to do this part too. Yes. That one. All right, you can in a minute. You'll see that it starts to turn a little bit orange, but it this. will stay a lighter color. It's like your pre-dessert. Pre-dessert. You have to warm up for the dessert, so. You do. Here's you your pre-dessert. Why the boys watch football, this is what we go Yes, through, we so. come to the counter mm -hmm. and we we eat this. Just a tad. That's why our podcast is called At the Kitchen Counter. <laughs> I'll put a link down below. If you don't know, we have yeah. one. We have one. We have a podcast it where is a lot of fun. it's our kitchen counter talk because the boys do their thing and all the girls come together we at the counter. Do our thing. We do. That's a good combination. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there it is. Four ingredient pumpkin dip. It's creamy. It's smooth. It's so good. Done with this one. Let's move on to the next. Okay, this next one is a classic. This is our <laughs> three ingredient pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I maybe make this like 10 oh times a season. <laughs> I don't make them year round. Like, okay. Why do we have to save them for fall? Thank you. One box of spice cake mix. Yep. That's what she's dumping in. Spice cake mix is hard to find. Again, we were struggling. I had to grab this out of my pantry. Huh. But you can add like pumpkin pie spice and just yeah. use a normal white cake mix if you need to. For so. sure. It's or delicious. do chocolate cake mix with the choco chips. Ooh. And still the pumpkin because here's the thing, you're not tasting the pumpkin flavor if you're not adding like the spices. The yeah, yeah. So you could not. use a chocolate cake mix and chocolate chips. That's a really good idea. Thank you. Oh, okay. I've done that. Now Get the it recipe ready. calls for one cup. Yep. I don't like to obey the recipe when it comes to adding my chocolate chips. I you mm, just go full send. I do. Okay, here's the other thing. With this recipe, yep. just keep mixing. Yes. Like, it's gonna feel really powdery at first. And yeah, just really, keep really going. dry. This is about the point where I dump it. I chips. do the same too. Kay. Like we're not gonna get all the chunks nope. and that's okay. And so there's like your cup and then there's, there's like Kristen's. your more. There's my <laughs> cup. You want me to okay. show you a trick? Let's do your trick. Oh, <gasps> Yep, a little bit of Pam. Now, 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 look at this. Blah. Or, if you don't have a scoop, go for spray it. Spray a little bit on your hands, and that will help you. These are sticky. Blah. I like to make them a little bit prettier by adding like two or three chocolate chips on top. Love that. I'm gonna and give this guy a little bit extra. It makes it look like you actually know what this cookie is. It is pumpkin. It is chocolate chip. You can see the chocolate chips. This is what I do like on all my cookies. I if do I'm, too. If I'm, mostly if I'm giving them to people, like I want them to know. I want them to look pretty. look pretty. All right, we're gonna bake these 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. We're gonna check them at eight, see how they are. Pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, cookies. done. Ready? Ooh, they're so warm. They are. Mm. That's so good. So good. They're cakey because of the cake mix, but loaded with the flavor, so. Every time. I love them. Every time. The last recipe we're gonna share with you today is actually brand new, debuting on Ooh. YouTube today. <laughs> it is our pumpkin spice churro Chex Mix. So say that five times fast. Yeah, I'm proud. Pumpkin spice churro Chex Mix. <laughs> brand new, and we're so excited because 
We are releasing our special seasonings yes. that we help develop, that we help make. This is a very limited offer. So in order to make this recipe, you're gonna want this seasoning. So here we go. Okay. We've got two, two cups. cups. Yep. Two cups of white chocolate chips. Yep. And just one teaspoon of vegetable oil. That's gonna help it melt and be really smooth. So, throw and that in the microwave. Perfect. I do like melts. a minute increments, mix yep. it a little bit. Okay, keep awesome. it going. All right, so our chocolate is all melted. It's smooth and it's ready for cereal. We're gonna add six cups of cinnamon Chex cereal. This is my first time like really oh seeing my this. It's, it's delicious. It's so good, especially the cinnamon pieces. Mm. Yes. Okay, so then we are going to add two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Okay. And then we have two tablespoons of our sweet cinnamon churro seasoning. And this, my favorite is to put it on toast, like butter with toast, yes. so good. Minus snickerdoodles, roll up the balls. So fast and easy, yes. Yeah. So um, good. Also sweet potatoes, this is the best topper. It is delicious. But we're gonna use it today in our Chex Mix. I don't like it. So, so you just wanna kind of make sure the cereal gets some white chocolate on most of the pieces. Two cups, Two cups here. of powdered sugar. We're just gonna coat everything now. Gently fold. Yep. Now, if you want our sweet cinnamon churro or our peppercorn ranch, yes. you can get both of these down below. I'll put a link in the description for you. You guys, we only have a few, so very you're limited. Get them, right? I'm limited oh. release. And it's so they are delicious. All right, I think I've got all of them covered. Nice. Now we sample. I like that part. That was That's good. It's another delicious recipe that you can make. And you know what else is fun? We put a QR code on the label of this bottle. When you scan it, it will take you to a special website that has all kinds of recipes that you can make using this, including Kendra does. Kendra is the one who developed all the recipes, but there's yeah. cookies, there is like some gooey, there's some other like gooey, gooey muddy cereal stuff. muddies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gooey muddies, that's what it, I call them. That's the name. Now. Anyways, there's special recipes that you can only get when you buy our sweet cinnamon churro seasoning. So you'll want to check that out too. Now, if you want more pumpkin desserts, we have some three easy desserts for pumpkin lovers right up there.